skies are trying to clear up. Lots of clouds and stuff still though. And what's going on today? It's kind of interesting reading a lot of these, I guess, articles today because it seemed like it dealt with more law enforcement, for example, using things like drones in a sense of now all of a sudden it's okay versus let's just say someone just using it for fun. This one here says, Leamington bylaw enforcement officers to use drone technology. Bylaw enforcement officers in Leamington now have the option of using drone technology to investigate potential infractions. The municipality's bylaw enforcement division will utilize a remotely piloted aircraft system, also known as a drone, where authorized by law to capture bylaw infractions and gather evidence. Mice Guska, manager of bylaw enforcement for the municipality of Leamington, says they were approved and supported by council to receive training for the drone technology, sharing the equipment with the Leamington Fire Service. Gruska says they can now use the drone to capture images and evidence that would traditionally be done by walking on a property and taking pictures with a camera. And so they justify it saying, I guess in a sense, it's safer. It says properties that we enter, it's unknown for us and what we're encountering. And they say it could be, for example, acres of property with potholes, ticks, animals, unknown terrain. So now by doing this, it's a great officer safety piece for our members. Gruska says the drones could be used for investigating property standard or land maintenance issues and identifying illegal cannabis locations. So again, unfortunately, I can't help to think all the fear mongering and so forth. Now it's okay because let's just say an official or something like that is using it. it. Makes no sense in so many ways. And I guess with that in mind, this one was actually a little odd too. What's going on here? Are drones literally going to go out injecting people? This one says Dragonfly Inc. to begin delivery, Nugen's medical devices, needle-free injection devices, and insulin to Ukraine type 1 diabetics in urgent need of supply. Needle-free injections, huh? A leader in needle-free drug delivery is pleased to announce that the company has selected Dragonfly Inc., an award-winning industry-leading drone solution and system developers, and Cold Chain Delivery Systems Inc. to provide drones and services for delivery of Nugen's needle-free injection system known as Insujet, insulin, and other crucial medical supplies to affected areas in Ukraine. Working with Revive Soldiers Ukraine, a non-profit organization dedicated to providing aid to the people of Ukraine, Dragonfly's North American-made medical response drones will be used to deliver Nugen's Insujet, needle-free injection devices coupled with insulin to dangerous and hard-to-reach areas across Ukraine. Can you imagine that? Drones flying around, giving needleless injections to people. Again, just the odd thing where everyone's so concerned about a quote toy, people taking pictures, videos for fun, maybe FPV racing around trees, you get stuff like this, that's okay, I guess it's fine in terms of like fear and so forth. Wouldn't you be more paranoid about stuff like this when you think about it? For example, a needle-free drone flying around injecting who knows what, like wouldn't that be more of a paranoid issue? It doesn't make sense so many times. And speaking of Ukraine, with that war between them and Russia, apparently there's other places that were thinking of joining NATO and because of that, Russia is going to cut out, I guess, their energy supply? It says Russia had to cut electricity to Finland from Saturday. Russia will suspend electricity supplies to Finland this weekend, a supplier said on Friday as tensions rise over Helsinki's NATO bid following the war in Ukraine. We are forced to suspend the electricity imports starting from May 14th, RAO Nordic, a subsidiary of Russian State Energy Holdings Inter RAO said in a statement, adding that it had not received payment for the volume sold in May. ROA Nordic is not able to make payments for the imported electricity from Russia, the statement added. So it makes me wonder if they're cutting it off because of like there is a technicality of you didn't pay your bill or if it is because, hey, you're joining this organization we don't like that so because of that they're retaliating per se kind of interesting because i know when it came to other resources apparently they're saying if you want it from them now like countries that are dependent on them you have to pay within their currency like their ruble which kind of gives them i guess an edge to i guess control any type of currency value and all that there's a lot of i guess economic tricks to all this huh but non-stop war and stuff like that too
All right, see you guys later.